Hey y'all, I'm back. So this is going to be um, a, a separate recording for the rest, the finishing up the Pisces reading. Um, my uh, camera died. <laughs> I thought it was all the way charged, but I guess I was wrong. So I'm on my cell phone now. So it's going to be two videos for the Pisces. So um, where I left off was uh, I was talking about the sun card. Um, when the sun card is reversed, um, like I said, there's no new beginnings. There's, there's no new opportunities. You feel like that there's no uh, new situation out of the, the situation that you're in now. Um, another thing that I want to mention is that, um, so it can be that you are also, like I said, I mentioned a, a fire sign because the Queen of Wands is there too. Uh, the Sun card is also fire. So like I said, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So if you're a Pisces or if you are a Pisces and you have strong fire in your chart and you're dealing, dealing with the air sign, or if you are a Pisces and you are in a relationship with uh, a fire sign, this reading could be for you as well. So I see earth and I see fire, um, but earth is still sticking out more to me than anything else because there's more green cards than anything. Um, so um, the next card that we have is the... Um, the nine of wands and the nine of wands is reversed. Um, when the nine of wands is reversed, uh, that means that um, you're you're like in a recovery situation. There could have been uh, the relationship. Like I said, if this has been a relationship that has been very a long, long relationship, it, the nine of wands typically is the guy that has like the nine the wands and he has the bandaged on his head and he looks like he went through a fight and. Uh, a war, you know, trying to protect everything that was his, um, and he's still standing, but he's wounded. And with the the Nine of Wands being on top of the Strength card, like I said, the, it, it it's it's been a tough battle um, in this relationship. And right now, you feel like um, you're not getting anywhere, and this person is not giving you the love that you want because with these two cup, these are the only two cup cards that's here. And um, the next card that we have is the um, Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups uh, is about um, uh, emotional satisfaction. And with it being reversed, that means that you're not getting the emotional uh, satisfaction that you need from your mate, uh, especially if it's a, an earth sign. Um, if it's an earth sign, because both of those are green. Um, and if it's a Leo as well, because all that is, uh, I'm saying Leo, um, because the strength card is um, Leo, but it can be a fire sign. Um, we're just going to get off of the signs pretty much. But um, like I said, if this was going to be an emotional reading. And the reason why I said that, because think about think, who's on this card. It has Mary J. And we all know what Mary J is going through with her, her, her husband, her ex-husband, whatever, um, or any man that she dealt with. She, she made songs about him and she wrote how she felt. And especially, you know... Um, with the waiting the exhale song, you know she when when Mary is going through it and she ain't got no strength. Her, her next song gonna be about how she, that other her her significant other made her feel, and it just seems like to me with those two cards being reversed, um, it, it's been a long battle, and and it, that song that's coming to me is uh, was your lover and your secretary, and it, it's just popping up working every day of the week and like i said this 10 this this nine of wands being there it's been a battle it's been a struggle you've been putting in a lot into this relationship but like i said at the end of the day it's, it seems like you're not getting the emotional fulfillment that you need um and like i said with the nine of cups being um reversed the nine of cups uh is about uh, no emotional satisfaction, no stability. Um, it could be some overindulgence that's being done. May watch, watch if you have any habits. Watch that because that's what that is also about. Whenever it's reversed, um, and with this being reversed, that means that you're probably trying to do some things that to help escape um, the situation that you're in now. But it's not doing anything but keeping you still and stuck, and you're not having any strength to move forward because you don't have any energy after you do everything. All this is emotional turmoil. All of it is emotional turmoil. And it, it's... Ground yourself. I'm also getting that you need to ground yourself because all the earth signs, all the 
earth cards are reversed. And with the earth cards being reversed, that means that you're not grounded. Maybe you need to go out and be outside a little bit more. Go walking, go go to a park, go sit next to some water. I'm getting water, you know, blue here. Sit next to some water, meditate. Um, some self-healing because it's going to be a lot. Um, and it's... It, it's not just that this person is putting you there. It doesn't necessarily mean that this person is causing all your pain. It just means that right now you're in a situation where you need to self-heal. You need some self-healing. And I recommend uh, going to a, a rock star store and going to buy some green stones or some blue stones to help you um, ground yourself. Um, or go sit some, some, somewhere in the water, or meditate outside. Um, but let's keep going. Deception, see? I can't make this shit up. Honeymoon reversed, and playfulness reversed. So, again, somebody is being deceptive. It can be um, uh, the person that you're dealing with that is being deceptive. Um, like I said, they're not, they're not in an energy where they're giving you that ace of that ace of pentacles you're not getting that balanced relationship that you want to get with this person because this person has some type of deception and for the deception card oh excuse me where did the card go there it goes for for the deception card to fall on top of the magician card that means that there's some deception be, be behavior somebody's not um telling the truth about situations some people are um giving half truths um, I don't know if that's you, Pisces, or a little bit of both of y'all, um, but somebody is not telling the truth and the whole truth, so help you God, and about the situation, and they're just basically uh, manipulating the situation for their advantage, because like I said, the honeymoon card is reversed, so that means that you're not getting the love, you're not getting that honeymoon, you're not seeing the, the, shine is, the sun is not shining, you're not going on the honeymoon, you're not in the water in the boat. But in you know, like pretty much it, it just means that it's gonna cause a lot of healing to get out of this relationship and y'all are gonna have to talk to each other. You're gonna have to uh make um some type of communication and talk about what's needed to be done um in the relationship in order to to fix the situation because you're there's no playfulness in the situation. There's no no love, there's no affection. If y'all before were somebody that always, you know, laughed and giggled, right now you're not doing that and it just seems like you're not getting um that emotional fulfillment, you know? And it, it could be that your your relationship is missing some type of passion. Um or y'all need to go back to um your childhood. Um uh Doing things that kids do with each other, you know, like the love that kids show, uh, playing, you know, um, have a pillow fight, <laughs> something, start something to, to spark up that attraction again. Um, but let's see, what's the advice? Pride, okay, forgiveness, and guilt, okay. Um, so. What I'm getting for this, um, if you, uh, this relationship, it, it has caused you to have some type of pride issues with yourself or the other person is having pride issues because they know that there is some de deception that's going on. And um, it can be that this person's pride um, is the reason why that they're manifesting, like the reason why they're acting that way, they can have a lot of pride. Um, they're one of those people that don't, um, especially if they're, they're an earth sign, we all know that they're prideful as well as fire signs are very prideful too. Um, so this person can be all about his, their self. And right now it's just like you, you, you want to forgive yourself for putting yourself in this situation. Um, you're wanting to get out of the, the, the being stuck, not having courage. Um, but at the same time, you know, you have to forgive yourself to get out of it because it's causing some type of guilt. Um, and it could be that you feel that you have been in this relationship too many, for too long. Um, and there is nothing there or, um, and it's not giving you the emotional satisfaction. Um, so 
I do apologize for my camera going um, out earlier, but Pisces, this is your the rest of your reading. Um, it was not the best of readings. I uh, I hate. <laughs> I I won't say I hate, but ooh, when uh, when it comes to deep love emotional readings, those ones I don't want to do when it's um, not good. Uh, it takes a lot out of me. Um, but. If this resonates, leave comments. If it doesn't, um, if it does, like the video, share it, whichever one. Um, again, I thank you for taking the time to watch my video and you have a great day.